Welcome back to Techno Sage in YouTube channel. So if you want to buy an RTX 4060 GPU, basically 4060 Ti, they are in short supply as of now in the second half of the month, which is a weird thing to see, like certain models are out of stock. And uh, maybe it is because due to the restrictions on ch China and such, but maybe it's also there are fewer shipments. Maybe the orders are less and it's because to drive the demand but yeah it you should do it next up we have some news regarding intel core i9s basically 13 and 14 gen i9 3900k and 4900k cpus which were having this out of memory issues and the intel baseline driver which was issued now intel has came out and said that intel has observed that this issue may be related to out of specification operating condition resulting in sustained high voltage and frequency during periods of elevated heat but it's like man uh, ma manufacturers of motherboards are pushing the cpus to its max but it didn't happen with 18 10 gen 11 gen or even 12 gen the thing that happened with 13 and 14 gen may be the cause that the motherboard manufacturers just pushed it and intel didn't check it as of now and that's why this issue is there and intel should work with the motherboard manufacturers so that this nothing this doesn't happens ever again but it is what it is but at the same time if you enable the intel baseline profile for manufact by gigabyte asus or msi then you will get a performance hit which is pretty high because i9 4900k literally works like i7 14700k so keep that in mind and yeah it's a bit weird scenario as of now but yeah it is what it is and if you want it you can turn it on for stability purposes next up i recently made a video where amd is going to launch an epic 4004 series for am5 platform and now we got the retail things for it there is a variant for 36 32 cores and 64 thread it will be zen 4c cores but yeah this is a bit weird because it is on am5 platform it will have all the features mostly all of the features of epic on an am5 platform which is a bit weird and it is also x3d i don't know what amd is planning but as you can see there are various queues 8244p uh 8344p there is 4364p 4384px 4484px there is 4564p and there is other one so yeah all are there and yeah indeed indeed amd is planning to launch this for am5 platform which is a bit weird move with x3d because x3d is generally for interconnect so that you can get faster performance and faster throughput in games because in games you need this kind of a performance but don't know what and how it will deal with in epic in servers next up we have some news regarding rdna4 and what 89 100 XTX would have been and this comes from Kepler and yeah it comes on a Chinese forum and it's pretty reputed and overall RDNA 4 GPU was going to be pretty high as you can see there was indeed going to be a 9 shader engine as you can see from the source code there are indeed set 0 to set 8 which is like 9 shader cores shader engines and if we compare it with navi 31 it comes with 16 compute units so 144 cores with navi 32 configuration it's 180 cus which is 87 percent higher with navi 31 it is 50 percent higher but if we compare it with the other configuration this was indeed going to be a pretty substantial because it was above 200 cus if we say navi 41 with 200 compute units like close to 24 compute units uh, 262 cores 216 cores it would be insane because it would be like 120 times more cores compared to rx7900 xcx but at last it didn't happen because amd has scrapped its parts for high-end rdna4 gpu and only we get mid-range so it's a bummer to see but it's nice to see what indeed is happening and what would have been but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out